From the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello, listeners. Welcome back to Ropecast. I hope you have all enjoyed your Christmas. And we're back now with another special episode of Ropecast. You may have listened to our Christmas special. And now we have a New Year's special. And again, I'm not with Roger Charlton here. I have the same guests that we had for our Christmas special. Let me reintroduce them. That is Paul Kingsbury, English teacher at the Language Center of Saarland University. He comes from Great Britain. Sonia Hetherington comes from Ireland. She's also an English teacher with the Saarland University. And one more English teacher sitting next to me, I have Hank Rademacher, comes from the US. And we have one student with us as well. We have Kamara Williams. She comes from Winnipeg, that's in Canada, in Manitoba. So welcome you all back to this special and thank you for coming again. And I'd like to talk to you about a few of the things that people do in English speaking countries on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. But I would like to start with a little maybe strange question. Kamara, yeah. have you ever heard of Freddie Frinton? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> okay, let, let me try Sonia. Again, Sonia's from Ireland. I, have you ever heard? I don't think so. Freddie no. Frinton. No. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Hank, Freddie Frinton, does that ring a bell? Yeah, but for other reasons. For other <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Paul, you it, know him? It rings a bell because I've come across him in Germany. You have come across mm. him in Germany. Yes. But he is British. Is he? Right. Yeah, he right. comes from Great Britain. <laughs> But what do you know about Freddie Frinton? Because he has something to do with New Year's Eve in Germany and, of course, not really in Great Britain, but he is British. Yes, I think he was an obscure 60s comic or 50s, 1950s right, comic. Right, right. And he made this one show for, was it Ende Air, I believe? Um, I don't really know the yeah. station, but mm. German television. Yeah, German that's, television. That's true. Which is now shown every New Year's Eve about 15 times on all the regional programmes. In Germany. Right. That's one yeah. interesting thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. Freddie Frinton is the creator and main actor of a sketch called Dinner for One. And in this sketch he plays Butler James, who organizes a party for the 90th birthday of Miss Sophie, who is his, his, uh, his employer. And unfortunately, all of Miss Sophie's four guests are already dead. And so James has to play the role of all four of those. And this includes toasting and drinking with Miss Sophie. And of course, in the course of the sketch, James has more and more trouble to play Miss Sophie's friends in a convincing manner. Uh, leads to a lot of funny mishaps. He always trips over a tiger skin. He drinks water from a vase and, uh, and becomes more, less and less formal with the in his conversations. Great sketch. But it's not known in Great Britain, is it? No, nope, not at all. Nobody knows Freddie Frinton. No. Nope. And the interesting <laughs> thing is, is the sketch is in English. It's not subtitled. It's nothing. So we have, as a big holiday tradition for New Year's Eve, is watching a British sketch from somebody nobody in the English-speaking world usually has ever heard about. It's broadcast by up to a dozen stations. I guess Monty Python came along in the late 1960s and everyone forgot about uh, Freddie Frinton if yes, they had any memory maybe. in the first place. <laughs> but do you have any kind of television traditions like that in your countries? In Ireland, for example? On New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, no, we don't have anything traditional. Maybe a sporting event on New Year's Day, but... Uh-huh, uh-huh. So... How how do you spend New Year's Eve in, in Ireland? Um, New Year's Eve is basically a relatively normal day until the evening. Okay. Um, it's also part of the Christmas season, so we're still visiting friends and family and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, and then in the evening we normally have a big party and wait for midnight to come and then we'll open a bottle of champagne and everybody will toast to the New Year. So that's more or less like you would probably do it here, or do you see any difference here in Germany to Germany? 
Um, no, there's not much difference to Germany then. Uh -huh, no. uh -huh. mm -hmm. What about Canada? What would you do? Well, in Manitoba particularly, uh -huh. we have socials. Which is it? Manitoba is a province? Manitoba is the province where yes. I come mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. And socials are um, something you would only find in Manitoba. It's like a giant party, basically. Uh -huh. So you buy a ticket, and um, it's a reason for people to get dressed up, go out with friends, drinks, food. And so you would do something like that on New Year's. How would you dress up if you say you're gonna get dressed up? Would that be a costume or very formal um, or very sexy or ludicrous? Again, that I guess depends on the social, but usually it's formal dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> formal dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paul, what kind of partying do you guys do in Great Britain for? I, either a, either a private party or more likely to be in a pub, actually. In a pub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, uh -huh. very, a very packed pub, yes. Try not to get there too early, or else obviously you won't be in any state to, to see the new year in if you start drinking at, uh, at 7 o'clock, for example. So go a bit later. Uh -huh. What about fireworks? Interesting question, because uh, I think fireworks started in the UK after the millennium at New Year. We traditionally had fireworks on November the 5th, so-called bonfire night or firework night. Uh -huh. And then for the uh, millennium in 2000, we had fireworks everywhere. And since then, we've had uh, yeah, fireworks every New Year's Eve, particularly in the centre of London, massive, massive display uh -huh. a lot, a lot along uh -huh. the River Thames you know, with the London Eye. So uh, that's, that, that's a little bit, uh, a little example of cultural globalization, mm. isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. We're losing fireworks night uh, in favor of New Year and uh, Halloween somehow. Are you you're not doing it in November then? Well, it's, like, I, think, I think it's dying out. It used it's, to be every house had a, a bonfire and fireworks and now it's uh -huh. big displays. Uh -huh. A bonfire, you may have to explain, that's an yeah. open fire in your backyard. Exactly. With wood and, wood and uh, uh, anything from the garden. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fireworks. Do you do fireworks in the US, Hank? All I really recall are big shows put on by the big cities. So I was in an icy Chicago well, maybe 10 years ago and they had fireworks at midnight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But it's not a regular thing with the US? There are some people who... Um, maybe shoot off a couple of loud fireworks at 12 o'clock, uh, but m not big shows of the sparkly kind. It was more, you know, fire a shotgun into a pile of grass or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> but I, there's one tradition that I do know about in the U.S. It's called the ball drop. What's on television, correct? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What Could you explain to oh, our listeners? Oh, a lot of people turn on their television sets as it gets to be 11.30 or so, and one of the major networks carries, I think it's still Dick Clark, the guy who refuses to age. And he counts down until uh, you have zero colon zero o'clock, mm -hmm. and that's okay. uh, you're watching a ball drop. It's uh, uh, what kind of ball is that? A ten it's not a tennis ball, is it? I really can't tell you what it is. It's something thing with flashing lights they, on they it. They show and, that yeah. in Canada too. Yeah, yeah, it's just a giant. I don't know if it's metal or something. It has a bunch of lights. So, so it's, it's sort of shiny. It's shiny, of, yeah. And, and, and where do they do that in Manhattan in, in Times, Times Square? Yeah, yeah, I think they have a couple different broadcast of it but the main one is in, in New York. The main one is in New York. Mm -hmm. We will of course have a picture of that on our website www.ropecast.de so if you want to see that ball drop. One more thing about fireworks. I, I think in Britain we have more organized public uh, displays of fireworks whereas in Germany Individuals bring fireworks and throw them around in the streets, don't they? That's the uh, ah, yes, slightly more yes, that um, is the anarchic <laughs> yes, <laughs> version. Yes, yeah. and we have, in Germany we have the fireworks, that's one mm. important, and one other important thing is the fortune telling. Mm. Uh, we pour lead, or we, we melt lead, and then we throw it into cold water, and the sh it gets weird into weird shapes, and we try to interpret the shapes and say what the future will bring. It's like reading, I don't know, from, from, from your palm or that mm, sort of tea thing. Tea leaves, yeah. Tea leaves. So mm. we have, do you have any fortune telling? We have the New Year's resolutions, which is not mm. the same thing, but it's related. Everybody sort of decides that perhaps mm -hmm. they'll try to change something about their lives and mm -hmm. they'll begin on January 1st. Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll stop drinking after the end of the party. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in, in Ireland we'd also make resolutions all our, our, all our new plans for the next year and see how long they last 
Okay. Do you make that in secret or do you tell the others? Uh, sometimes you make it in secret and sometimes you have to tell everybody. Yeah. Okay. Now let's assume New Year's here and you have New Year's Day. What do you do on a typical New Year's Day? That was the 1st of January. Just sleep it off and do nothing or...? In my family, it's my cousin's birthday, uh -huh. so <laughs> we have a, yeah, yeah. So we have a birthday party. It's just like a regular day. Okay, yeah. okay. But what would people do in your country? Is is there anything? So Germans watch a ski jump event very often, mm. for example, on television. Uh, All is quiet on New Year's mm -hmm. Day. All is quiet on New Year's Day. <laughs> yeah, in okay. Ireland, it's also pretty much the same as in Britain. It's also again another family day, and yeah, like the whole of the Christmas season basically. But don't they have a, a sports event? In Rose the US Bowl? it's the big day for the uh, college football bowl games. There used to be the big four, sugar, okay. cotton, rose and orange and that's now different but in some mm. way similar, many games. Okay, so I hope you will enjoy your all your New Year's Eve and New Year's Days. I hope all our listeners will do that. Like I said, we will put a lot of photos and links on our website www ropecast.de where you can look up a few of the things that we just talked about and well I'll end off with a German word Guten Rutsch ins neue Jahr Happy New Year yeah. Happy, Happy, New, 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 Year. Year. Happy New Year You've been listening to Ropecast brought to you by Saarland University featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.